Hey guys, how's it going? Uh, my name is Sinus, that's what I go by. Um, I haven't really done a lot of uh, videos, not that many that I would be in this kind of form factor anyways. Um, I saw something in the news uh, yesterday, or like in the middle of the night, um, that I thought I would kind of go over with you guys today. Um, so mainly, if I can just go over here and switch the scenes. So about a year ago, um, I saw that Kyle from Bitwip, who's a really great channel, you should go ahead and subscribe to their channel, uh, essentially said that there were rumors about Fry's electronics, that there was something going on with Fry's, basically. Um, if you watch the video, it's really great, and it kind of shows, <laughs> it kind of shows scenes that are basically like, you know, empty, right? This is what you see. And that happens consistently across the board. I mean, look at these shelves, right? That's what you see. Now, this was back in, this was less than a year ago now, or a little bit more than a year ago. I'm not really sure right now, it's late. But January 24th, 2020, okay? Before all the pandemic stuff, before all that. In the description, you see this, could Fry's Electronics really be in this much trouble? Apparently, yes, <laughs> apparently that's the case. And I'll show you why. Fry's Electronics is permanently closing all of its stores nationwide. I was gonna make a video about this last night and basically I had the screen cap for it because I wanted to you know I wanted to see it but this is what I saw at one in the morning <laughs> today technically but last night and I saw that it was closing all stores permanently and this had come out at that time this was a breaking story at the time so Which is really sad because fries for a lot of people was really a home to go get electronics when you were, you know, back in the day, you were able, you know, to find a lot more stuff. Um, I actually managed to get my first computer myself, which was a laptop, which, you know, now when you look at sort of stuff that I would like to do, which is, you know, computer, you know, building computers and stuff. It was a really big deal and it was full of people always from what I remember um, and this was like years back I mean however <laughs> here's the thing though if you actually look at this video that Cal <laughs> made it looks empty there's not even a lot of processors to get there's not a lot of inventory at all so if you look at that for example there's like nothing there their spaces were just hollow if I could find that I mean look at that apparently this was a thing that was happening a lot um, later on in the years uh, this video essentially explains without spoiling too much that uh, they had a difficult time with uh, vendors and things like that so that's mainly what that was about um, but like, but fries is permanently shutting down their doors. And this is kind of sad because, you know, when you grew up with a place like that and you didn't really use places like Amazon or things of that nature, like it's kind of crazy to think about, you know, like one of the stores you grew up with and it's very iconic by the way, um, is closing its shelves. And it opened up a lot of doors for a lot of people to be creative with gear and with computers. Um, so I kind of just wanted to go over it a little bit. I don't really have anything planned, so I do apologize for the sort of franticness of this uh, video. Um, the iconic barrier retailer is permanently closing the doors of all stores nationwide. Um, so I'll actually go over this um, a little bit later, but... 
Um, they have more than two dozen stores across California and Texas. There are six stores in Northern California, eight in Southern California, eight in Texas, two in Arizona, and one store each in Georgia, Illinois, Indiana, Nevada, Oregon, and Washington. There's a decent amount of stuff that was going on with this store. Um, and the thing is, the reason why people were kind of, you know, excited about going to these stores was because of what they looked like on the inside. It wasn't just going to a store and it was, you know, it had your com components, your computer parts, things like that. If you actually look at what these places looked like, there, <laughs> there's a giant ant, <laughs> like right above all of these, you know, all these like kitchen appliances and stuff like that. And that was normal <laughs> for all these stores. I mean, the one that was uh, near me actually was um, Alice in Wonderland themed. So you had a lot of things that were Alice in Wonderland based inside. You're greeted to the white rabbit. Um, you were greeted to um, a bunch of cards that were around and hedges and things like that. It was really insane. I mean, you have a lot of... Uh, like this is sort of like an Aztec theme to it. Um, or I'm sorry. Um, yeah, it looks like it anyways. I'm not really sure exactly what it is, but I mean, each store has a different element to it. Like this one, I believe is the one in Burbank. Yeah, it's in Burbank. <laughs> it's, it's like, it's actually insane to be in one of these stores. Um, so I, last night, because I had double checked on this and I wanted to double check and see for sure, I went on their website and I was, you know, kind of scrolling around because I wanted to see what they had online. And you go to the website and it's like, hmm, it looks a little, uh, <laughs> it looks a little dry and barren and a little, a little gross, I'm not going to lie. It's not, not the best shape in the world, right? It doesn't look like a place you want to go surfing and stuff, right? Here's the thing though. If you look at the address, I'm actually on, <laughs> I'm on way back. I'm actually looking at this from earlier today. Because if you go to the website now, this is what it looks like. After nearly 36 years in business as the one-stop shop and online resource for high-tech professionals across nine states and 31 stores, Fry's Electronics, Inc., Fry's or company, has made the difficult decision to shut down its operations and close its business permanently as a result of changes in the retail industry and the challenges posed by the COVID-19 pandemic. The company will implement the shutdown through an orderly wind-down process that is believes will be in the best interest of the company, its creditors, and other stakeholders. So here's the thing about that too. If you actually watch, where is it right here? You'll see here, and in this news clip, if you, I don't know if you can see it clearly or not, but the doors are shut completely and you can't get inside. So people were actually greeted <laughs> to close doors that they couldn't get into store. And I had a plan overall as well to uh, go into one of these fries and just go in there and film what the store looked like for, you know, for reasons to document and just to remember what it looked like. Um, a lot of places, a lot of videos I imagine have this already, but I wanted to do it for myself and film in this video and, you know, do this whole thing. But when I watched this, I was like, there's no point in going because no one can get in the stores anyways. And I'm not about to you know, go and double check and see if the store that's near me has done the same thing. I just, I don't know. To me, it wasn't the best decision, but so I guess in a little bit of retrospection, I also kind of wanted to go over a little bit more about the store and just kind of get an idea of what it was. Um, it won't give you a full scope about what it felt like to be in the store. Obviously you can get pictures you can get videos of it, but to step foot in one of those stores and have giant statues that were four times your size, 
that would greet you and each place was themed differently, it's unreal. And it's really sad to see it go. So here we go. We'll look at this. Uh, Fry's Electronics was an American big box store chain. Um, it had all kinds of different appliances. It had one store in Sunnyvale, California, and it opened and operated 34 stores in nine states by 2019. And it decreased in January 21, operate 28 stores, and now none. <laughs> so that's, uh, you know, it's really unfortunate there. But it was, uh, it opened in 1972. Charles Fry opened the Fry Supermarkets chain based in California for $14 million to Dillon's. Um, he gave a portion of the proceeds, woman is each son. Uh, so essentially, the main thing is, it started out in Sunnyvale. Um, from what I'm gathering, it expanded. The Sunny, the original store closed. Newer, larger stores, I mean, these stores were large, started to open up. And they essentially just grew the business from there. And it's a little wild to think about because, you know, like I said, a lot of people really had a lot of uh, ties to this place. I actually myself bought that laptop that I told you about and I bought a, you know, a warranty with it. They, when the laptop one day just kind of took a dump on itself and died, I was able to take it in and they fixed it no problem. And just being in that store, even if it was for a reason like a dead laptop, was still a good experience. I mean, the selection of items Maybe it diminished over time, and it just didn't keep up with the same demands that we have nowadays, but man, it was a really cool store, and I don't really have too much like experience with it. I remember that my uncle, David, he loved that store, we, you know, um, when I would always go and spend time with my family out in in that part of um, LA sometimes we'd always we you know we'd make trips over to fries just because we liked it and so he'd show me around and I'd see him get different parts and different stuff um, it wasn't necessarily like building computers at the time but he would just get different like cables and different stuff like that and having memories like that even if they were like minute even if they were just simply going out with your family over to these stores it holds a lot of value and when you have that and that's multiplied by the vi the visuals that you get inside of these stores like having gigantic ants or octopus like giant things like breaking through the walls and you know giant like playing cards that were trying to get you or stuff like that that leaves a mark in your in your memory and those stores were huge, so it made you feel small, which actually in the in that scope was pretty cool. This might have been really ranty, but I just mainly wanted to make a video that at least documented um, each part of all of this, uh, of this closure. And I wanted to make it sooner than later. Um, I don't know if it just, you know, it held your attention or not, but mainly it's a sad day for a lot of people um and i just hope for the best for all the employees um uh, who kind of got this notice i don't know how early they got it or how late they got it but i'm wishing for the best for everybody at the end of the day but you know this kind of stuff happens and i don't know if we're gonna get a store like this again in the way that it was but for those of you who went you know let me know your experiences and you know, if you have any other suggestions or anything like that, I don't know. This is just me rambling on, but hopefully you like the video. Um, you can go ahead and subscribe if you liked it or give a thumbs up and things like that. Um, and hopefully you have yourself a good day. Thank you so much. Peace.